what's up guys today we're going to be talking about the five things wow my hand is really white uh, gosh anyway we are going to be talking about the five things that i hate and love about my truck we're going to start with the hate get that all out of the way and then go on to the things that i really love about the truck and on a positive note anyway um but first i need to pick up a few things at the store really only one thing i need to grab um, a fuse for my um, power locks um, it blew there's probably something wrong with the circuit whenever a fuse blows most of the time there's a problem with the circuit but i'm gonna try and get a new fuse uh, see if that fixes it and if it doesn't blow again then we should be all good Otherwise, if it blows, then I'm gonna have to go in, get into the wiring and figure out what's going on. Other than that, I'm gonna buy a drink and then we will get into um, the main part of this video, which is the five things I hate and love about the truck. All right. I just got out of O'Reilly's, um, got a Coke. I don't know if you guys care about this, but. Also, leave it down in the comments. Do you like Coke or Pepsi better, or do you just not like soda at all? I can drink both, but I prefer Pepsi. Um, then I got some Brake Clean. You can never go wrong with some Brake Clean. And then of course I got the uh, 15 amp fuses. These suckers are expensive for what they are. It's kind of a rip off, honestly. You're better off going on Amazon or to Harper Freight and getting them in bulk because I think I spent $4 for five fuses. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, um, that's all I needed to grab at O'Reilly's. I think I'm going to go and vacuum out the truck. Um, luckily here in Rexburg, um, they have a free vacuum. So that's pretty sick. All right, so maybe I'll film that. Maybe I won't. What's up guys I just got back to my storage unit I'm gonna go ahead and install this one new fuse and then um, the other part of this video the five things I hate and love about the truck um, that might have to wait till tomorrow um, at least until I film it um, because they're laying new asphalt here and it's making a lot of background noise so um, I'll have to wait until tomorrow to film anyway I'm gonna go ahead and do this <laughs> Alright, awesome. So that worked. Hopefully um, the fuse doesn't blow again. Um, otherwise, there's definitely a problem with the wiring harness. Alright guys, so they were just making way too much noise. So I will finish filming this tomorrow, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go get some shots of the truck. Um, so, but you'll probably, you'll see those before. If you're following me on Instagram, which you should, if you're not already, you can follow me right here. Um, You'll see these photos before this uh, video even comes out. So, but that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna go take some shots. It's just about sunset, and I'll pick this up tomorrow. All right, bye.
All right, what's up guys? So today it's a new day and we're gonna finally get to talk about the five things that I hate and love about the truck. I'm gonna turn the camera around and then we'll get right to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off um, with the things that I hate about the truck. And we're gonna start right back here. Now it's not much, but you see this tire? You see the sidewall? Okay, and then let's look at all the other sidewalls. Okay, so it's like a camo. I know you guys have seen these. Camo. Camo. Yeah, okay, so I have one oddball tire over here on this side, and I've had people ask me, like, why don't you shine up your tires? Well, this is why. Um, because if I shined them up, you'd be able to tell a lot more that this one is different from all the other ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and tell you guys why that is. Okay, so it's a funny story actually. So when I first got the truck, uh, the first thing that I got was actually wheels and tires. So I got the wheels that are on there and I got the tires that are on there. So the tires that are on there are 265-75R15s and they're the Firestone Destination ATs. Now when I first got the um, tires, they had a special edition. It was the ones that had the camo sidewall. And so I was like, oh, those are sweet. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna order those. Ordered them and got them put on, right? Well, when I got them put on, all four of them were put on and then only three had the camo sidewall. So I was like, what the heck? So I look at it and the guy had put one of the tires on, he flip-flopped it. So on one side, it's like that regular um, sidewall and then the other side was the camo sidewall. And so I was like, well, I don't wanna, I mean, I know when you um, demount uh, tires, it's not good to put them back on. So I was like, okay, I'll just leave them on. It's not a big deal. So I ride around like that for like a year, year and a half. I've had these tires for a long time. Um, and then one day, um, I know if you've been following me on Instagram, you saw this, it was like probably a year ago. Um, I was coming back from the junkyard actually, and I got on to the highway and all of a sudden the rear end of my truck just started swaying, swaying really bad. And so I like started pulling over and as soon as I got onto the side of the, um, the shoulder of the highway, the tire just exploded. Um, I'll post a picture right here. I believe I posted something on Instagram um, of the truck, at least on the, uh, I think it was on the um, back of the tow truck because I had to get it towed. Um, so yeah, the tire blew out and it was the bat, it was the one that had the mismatched sidewall from all the other ones. And so I was like, okay, cool. I, well, at least I can get the matching tire and match it to the rest of them. Well, they don't make it anymore. And so even after I popped my tire, I still couldn't get um, the matching sidewall. So we're still, we're still stuck with the non-matching sidewall. So that's the first thing that I hate about the truck. Not The rest of these aren't gonna be as long, but that one had a kind of a cool story to it. All right, so let's move on to the second thing that I hate about the truck. I used to like this, um, but now I've just gotten tired of it, don't like it. So when I first bought the truck, I was trying to do little mods and I decided to do this. Wah, wah, this wah. splatter paint job on the plastics. At first I was like really, really excited about it. I loved it, um, but now it, it just, it looks tacky. Um, I wanna go back to just the regular black. Um, I have the Explorer one that I'm gonna put in. I just got the um, fuse box. All I need is this. So if anyone has one of these, it needs to be this. It can't be the one that's like the big old math on, or the mass airflow on the top like this. It needs to be this little one that goes into the side of it. So if anyone has one of those, leave it down in the comments and I would love to buy that from you if you have an extra. I know a lot of people don't. I can't even find one. So yeah, this is the second thing I hate about the truck. It's just tacky and um, I don't know, kind of ricey looking. Okay, so let's talk about the third thing that I hate about the truck. This, right here. Okay, um, most of y'all know if you have a Ranger, actually if you have any Ford truck, they come with this rake. If they were like a four x four version of the truck, they come with this rake and it's, it's just, it's hideous. Um, I could crank the torsion bars and that's what I plan to do eventually. 
but right now I'm just gonna turn the camera around and you guys can see what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at that gap. Okay, so it's probably one, maybe one and a half hands worth of gap. This is like one and maybe a quarter of a hand. Um, so what I'm gonna probably do is I'm just gonna probably raise the front by cranking the keys. Um, yes, everybody, I'm gonna settle this argument right now. If you don't think that cranking your keys makes your ride stiffer, you're lying. It does, it's proven that it makes the front of the truck stiffer. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, these trucks are already pretty stiff anyway. Um, and I want, I want it to match. I so I was just gonna take the lift blocks out of the back, but I'm just gonna crank the front keys. Um, I only need to crank it a little bit, get like an inch and a half out of them. And that's what you can usually get when you crank the keys. All right, so let's move on to the fourth thing that I hate about my Ranger. The fourth thing that I hate about my Ranger, it's really small. And the reason this that a lot of these are just kind of nitpicky is because I really honestly love the truck. But the fourth thing I hate about the truck is this. These license plate lights are silver, don't like that. I mean, I, it's an easy fix. I'm gonna paint them, but they just look so, so tacky back there. Um, I'm, I just want them to kind of blend in. So I'm just gonna paint them with black, um, just probably a plastic dye that I use for a lot of the parts on my truck. So it'll all match and be like the same black. Anyway, that was a small one. Let's move on to the fifth thing I hate. And then we'll move on to the things I love because that's the part I'm gonna like. All right, so it's time for number five. And before I uh, talk about this one, I just wanna say, you guys, if you're a truck enthusiast or a car enthusiast, there's always gonna be something on your build that you're not happy with. That's kind of uh, the point. You're always trying to improve. You're always trying to make your build that much more better. Um, you're always trying to make it stand out more. Not necessarily stand out, but just be something that people, when they see it, they're like, wow, someone actually put like a lot of work into this. Like I know for me, um, I'm in the automotive program here at my school um, at BOU Idaho. And whenever I pull my truck into the shop, um, if it's someone who hasn't seen my truck before, um, I always get compliments on it. You know, how clean it is and how well put together it is. And I'm not trying to brag or anything, but um, the thing about it is when you get those compliments in your mind, um, I mean, you really appreciate those compliments, but in your mind, you're like, oh, well, it's, you know, it's not perfect. There's a lot of things that I want to change. There's a lot of things that are coming, um, and there's a lot of things that I'm not happy with. Um, so I just want to remind everybody, um, when you look at someone's build, and maybe there's something you don't like about it. Maybe um, you don't like the direction they've gone. It's not the same style as yours. And that's the thing. No one is going to have the same style as you, unless you copy somebody. Um, but everyone is going to be just a little bit different. Um, so I just want to say just respect people's builds. People build things the way they want because they, they like it. So it's there's no point in um, downing somebody for how they build their truck or their car. Um, just respect it and know like even that person is not completely happy with how it like with where it is right now. Um, they're always going to be improving and you guys are always going to be improving. Um, so anyway, I'm going to get off my soapbox, but um, let's move on to the fifth thing I hate. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about the things I love about the truck. So honestly, the interior, beautiful. It's one of my favorite things about the truck. I'll talk about it a little bit later because it's actually one of the things I love. So spoiler alert, there is one thing in the interior that I am not happy about. And it's right here. You guys see that? You see that freaking giant hole? But something's coming for that. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know what it is. And I could just sew it up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the things that I got for it in here. Um, it'll match the interior a little bit more. You guys probably already know what it is by now because of all the things I'm saying about it. But yeah, that's the fifth thing I hate about the truck. Now let's move on to the things I love. It's time for the five things that I love about the truck. First thing, when I first saw it, I don't know if you guys know what my first car was. My first car was a 2004 Ford Escape um, and it had silver pink. I saw this truck and this truck had the exact same paint code as my Escape. It had the silver metallic, I can't remember, it's in the door seal. Um, I'm not gonna go find it right now, but it had the silver metallic paint. And I remember when I first got my Escape, that was the thing I fell in love with. And when I saw this truck and then it had the same paint code, 
I fell in love and I saw how good of shape the paint was in. I mean, you guys, this paint is, I mean, it is, it's beautiful. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, it's honestly, it, it might be my favorite thing, but it's definitely one of the favorite things I love about this truck. Um, I don't know. See, everyone likes black. I love silver. I think silver shows body lines and um, if it, especially if it has flake in it, like this one does, it just looks so good in the sun. It looks good in the sun, it looks good in low light. Um, silver is just honestly, I think the all around best color. Black is really cool, but I much rather would have silver. Anyway, um, that's enough about the paint. Let's move on to the second thing that I love about the truck. All right, guys, so the second thing that I love about the truck is the front end. I just love how it looks. I don't know what it is about Rangers, um, and honestly, not to diss anybody, but the 2005 and up, like the front end of the Rangers, is so much better it's just so smooth it's not very it's not it doesn't have hard edges it's very rounded and I really like that this angle of the truck is it's just so beautiful like I don't know if you guys can see but like it's just like kind of like bubbly and like you, normally on cars and trucks I don't like a bubbly look but I think they I mean just the body lines of like the headlights the grill I think it all works really well together. I also really love the Power Dome um, hood. These body lines, and again, silver I think shows these body lines so well. All right, let's move on to the third thing. All right guys, so for the third thing, we're gonna move into the interior. If you guys have been following my build, you know that a lot of the work I've done on this truck has been in the interior. And I fell in love with um, a lot of the Explorer to Ranger swap stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of that right now. Okay, so here are those carbon door inserts I was talking about. They need to be wiped down. I should have wiped them down before this, but they're just beautiful pieces. Um, and then when you come in here, okay, so this is not originally black dash so you see this color here this dark gray this dash used to be that same color um, i use duplicolor violon fabric dye um, that stuff's great i talked about it in my last vlog so i'm not going to talk about it anymore but that's what i used to dye a lot of this interior um, we come down here black floor mats yeah they're they're dirty and black carpet this is not original this is not original put the carpet in myself about the floor mats these pieces have been painted um, and then one of my favorite parts of the interior is the Explorer center console I also dyed this black um, really cool piece I think just I don't know if it, it was a cool swap having a center console is neat I mean you got room in here you got cubbies here cup holders and these are let me tell you anyone who's a Ranger owner knows that the cup holders that came in the Rangers suck um, also ignore uh, my 4x4 switch. I've got to rewire it to come up through here um, because right here is the carbon um, radio bezel. So first off, these are really hard to find. So I was just trying to find anyone that I could. And this was the only one that I found um, for a good price. There's a lot of people who want to sell these for like $200, $100. And I found this one for 60 bucks super super good deal unfortunately it didn't come with a 4x4 cutout um, which was fine i so i'm just gonna rewire that and bring it up through here and have a little switch panel um and then here is the other carbon door insert and here is the overhead console from the explorers but here you go it has the temperature readout and your direction. Another thing that I did is the Explorer light advisors and it also has this other piece. So when you pull this piece out here, this piece pulls down. I just removed the jump seats, has more room back there for my tools. There's another OHC that I'm working on. There's, I'll show you the subwoofer. A lot of people, I've had people asking me if I have a, uh, system in my trunk and I guess I've just never showed it so this is just a 10 inch 
Um, I think it's Lightning Audio. I think it's related to Rockford Fosgate, but it's just without their name on it so they can sell it for cheaper. Um, and then, yeah, so and then I have a Lightning Audio amp. And I changed out um, the front door speaker. Did I? Yeah, the front door speakers left the back ones just stock. So yeah, that's the interior. Um, the headliner's black. I dyed that, so that's a super cheap mod that you guys can do. Oh, also, so these um, gauges, I don't know if you can tell in this light, but they're silver. These only came on the Mazda B4000s. I can't remember which year, um, but they're a really cool piece, um, super cheap. I've done the black emblems inside and out. And there's the head unit. Also, this is kind of a cool mod. This is from a sport, well, it's either from the sport or a sport track. You can get them in either one. It's a silver faced um, HVAC panel. So that's an easy swap. And let's see, let's go over to the other side. Both doors are unlocked, yep. And then right here in the glove box, we have the lighted glove box light. Cool mod. Honestly, I'm gonna say this right now. This is my favorite part of the truck. It's what you see every day. I mean, so I've spent a lot of time in here and it's almost done. I've just gotta dye the doors, both front and back, um, figure out what I wanna do back here and then the interior should be done. All right, guys, it's time to talk about the fourth thing I love about the truck. And I'm pretty sure you can tell what it is. Yes, okay, the exhaust, it looks kind of janky. It is janky, but I mean, I just chopped the muffler off, extended the pipe and dumped it out the side. Um, eventually, I'll get it done properly, but this is one of my favorite things about the truck. I'm gonna show you why. I have to say much more than what the exhaust said it just sounds awesome it's just so much fun i don't know what it is like about loud exhaust it just makes driving in my opinion so much more fun and it's cheap like i think i chopped it off got an extension maybe a few exhaust hangers so it probably cost me all in all like 20 bucks for um a cat back if you want to call it that cat back exhaust so yeah um, anyway, I'm gonna talk about the fifth thing and then we're gonna end out this video All right guys, so the fifth thing I love about the truck and this is where I'm gonna end the video the fifth thing is honestly the fact that um, I've done Most I won't say all I've done most of the modifications um, The only thing I believe I didn't do is the sound system. I didn't install that um, and then I guess the wheels and tires if you want to say that. I mean I bought them but um, I didn't put them on or mount them, but everything else about this truck I've done. I'm not gonna get deep about this, but like For a lot of people like when it, I, I see that I see this a lot It's like a truck enthusiast or a car enthusiast, right? There's a lot of people who just don't understand it. They don't get it um, And it's just like anybody else who has a passion for something if you have a passion for dancing or filmmaking or you know whatever your passion is that's kind of like the thing that helps you to like escape from the world um, to escape from the things that are just bringing you down like there are days when I can just go for a ride in the truck or go listen to music or just work on the truck um, detail it and it's just like um, meditation for me like I can just escape not worry about anything and just have fun doing something I love, working on something I love. I mean, so I just wanna say like, no matter where your build is at, whether it's still stock, um, whether you don't have the money to put into the build, um, or whether, you know, you can only afford like small things, or even if your build is something like that not many people like, don't worry about it. Um, the fact that you enjoy working on your car or your truck or working on whatever your passion is don't quit just because people don't like it don't quit because it seems like um, you're not getting anywhere um, if it's something you enjoy just keep doing it go after your passions enjoy it don't ever give up on your passions all right guys 
I'm gonna get off my soapbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know what the next vlog is gonna be. Um, We'll see, maybe I'll put a poll on my Instagram or I'll just do something that I want to do. I kind of like doing daily vlogs, so maybe that's something I'll do. Alright, peace out guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.